Why, why can't you just use your sunglasses yeah. like Abrams is doing right now? Yeah, you might be tempted to just put on a pair of sunglasses, but it is not enough. If you had 400 pairs of sunglasses all stacked together, that might start to get the job done. But just one pair <laughs> isn't going to do it. <laughs> okay, so what about the glasses that you can wear when you actually view the eclipse? Where can you get them? I'm assuming they're going to be everywhere along the path of totality. Oh, yeah, along the path of totality and even outside of totality, because if you're only seeing a partial eclipse somewhere else in the country, it's still not safe to view the sun directly because of its UV radiation. The same radiation that gives you a suntan or a sunburn uh, can cook. The, the back ends of your retina, which is not good news for your eyes. So you need safe glasses. You can get these for free in some places online. NASA is giving away a bunch. Libraries are giving away a bunch. If you don't want to, if you want to pay for fancy ones, they make some fancy ones that you can pay a couple bucks for that have designs on them and everything. Uh, but check your local science center, your local library, your local school. Uh, these will be everywhere. Yeah, I'm surprised somebody's not making a force note of this already. Uh, all right, so Doc. <laughs> Let's say we don't want to get the glasses. We don't want to, you know, we don't have a chance to get glasses. You can actually do a, you know, DIY solution, right? Do it yourself solution with this. Yeah, this is a great summer craft for the kids to make what's called a pinhole camera so that you can project an image of the sun onto the ground and then look at that image and not look at the sun directly. Uh, all you need is like some cardstock and some tin foil and some tape. You cut a hole in the cardstock tape the tin foil to the over the hole and then poke a really 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 tiny hole in the tin foil and what you end up with is something that looks like this and I already put a tiny hole in here you can and use an index card it. too right with something a little bit smaller. Uh, you can use an index card. You right. can use a piece of paper. It doesn't matter. And the tin foil is just there so that you can make a nice very very precise tiny perfect little right, why hole. Why does it have to be there. tiny the hole? Why can't you make it a little bit tiny. bigger? Uh, yeah, it has to be tiny because you only want to let in some of the light from the sun. This is how a pinhole camera works, where some of the light rays come in one side and project out a perfect image on the other. If you make it too big, uh, you end up losing that image. In five seconds, speaking of pictures, how can you take a picture without hurting your eyes? Five seconds. Don't bother. Your picture is not going to be cool because your camera is meant for wide angles. Ah, there you go. All right. We All right, appreciate it, Dr. Sutter. And uh, thanks for being so concise on that one.